Well, hello and welcome back to Noah's Window. As we start a new week, I thought we might uh, look into the book of Romans. It was the reading on the 24th and just can't pass over this passage in Romans 8 without spending some time there. Um, you know, in, in verse 35, Paul poses the question, can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Now, I think a lot of people feel like that's a, a, an answerable question. I think a lot of people feel like there is something that could separate them. Yeah, Paul has already asked the question, does it mean that God doesn't love us if we have trouble? Mm -hmm. And he goes into that beautiful answer of, of no, of course it doesn't mean that. In fact, the scriptures tell us nothing can separate us from the love of God. But when we are going through hard times and we can't talk to God or we can't have him speak to us audibly, I think the enemy comes along and tells us maybe God doesn't love us anymore. Right, and you know, the next thing I think we do is it's introspective, like, well, it must be my fault, and uh, it must be that I can't measure up, or <laughs> all, all the all the different all the different things. But in as you as you just mentioned, right after this verse in chapter in verse thirty five, he goes on to say, does it mean he no longer loves us if we have trouble or calamity or persecuted or hungry or destitute or in danger or threatened with death? Um, so those are a lot of situations where you can feel like maybe you're yeah. separated from God's love. But then if we jump down to verse 38, and, and this is such a rich, rich passage, it's really worthy of memorization. Mm -hmm. I, I hope everyone can take the time to uh, repeat this over and over, because you know these are the kind of verses that we need to call to our memory when, when we're having those hard days. Yeah. Because Paul says, I'm convinced that nothing can ever separate us from God's love, neither death nor life, neither angels nor demons, Neither our fears for today nor our worries about tomorrow, and we have a lot of those, don't we? Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. No power in the sky above or in the earth below. Indeed, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus our Lord. What a dynamic, reassuring, comforting passage. Yeah, I, I honestly, this is just my opinion. It's not an official opinion by any stretch, but I believe Romans 8 is the pinnacle of the Bible. I think mm -hmm. it's the high point of Scripture. <laughs> I have weird ways of thinking, but to me, Romans 8 is like the fireworks show of the Bible. And when you get from 25 to the end, 20, uh, verse 28 to the end of the mm -hmm. chapter, it's like the grand finale of a firework show. Mm -hmm. You know, just this effusive, nothing can separate us from the love of God all the problems that we encounter in this life, the life that, uh, you know, lives that others have that we're part of. Nothing even can, the spiritual world even is Even the spiritual us, yeah. realm, yeah, nothing can ever separate us from God's love. So that should make us really feel safe and secure. You know, there's a lot of things in this world, uh, situations where we don't feel safe and secure. Maybe one of those in this day and age is just looking around us and looking at the future. And there may be some situations where we we have uh, anxiety about yeah. the future, but this one thing we can be absolutely certain of is that we can never be separated from God's love. Well, the people in Rome were going through a really hard time. I mean, when you look at, you know, whenever this was written and scholars tell us what they believe, but it's very possible that, uh, you know, Nero was on the throne or Claudius may have been on the throne. They're, 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 the Rome, Rome was not as stable as it was under Julius Caesar mm. or Augustus Caesar. Um, it was just a really brutal time. And many of the people he's writing to are slaves. Mm -hmm. And they're going through all kinds of difficulties and hardships, but they're followers of Jesus Christ. And Paul is just reminding them that as long as we're in this life, we can have this list of problems that he lays out for us there at the end of Romans chapter 8. But he wants us to know that nothing can ever separate us from the love of God. So whatever problem you might be facing today, whatever, whatever difficulty you're in, I can guarantee you by the Word of God that it is not going to separate you from God's love. Yeah, and there's one more thing too, Mary Alice, because these people that he's writing to are believers, mm -hmm. and many of them would have come from communities that would have kicked them out when they mm -hmm. accepted mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Some may have been told by their parents that mm -hmm. they weren't loved anymore, or by spouses, or by friends. But Paul wants these people to know who have followed Jesus Christ that nothing can ever separate them mm -hmm. from the love of God. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know about you, but that starts my week off, my day off. On yeah, it sure does, to know that we're loved. Yeah. So I hope that that encourages your heart today, too, because I know we're all facing different challenges. But whatever your challenge, you can just rest assured that you can never be separated from God's love. So as with that thought, Mark, could you lead us in a word of prayer today? 
Father, we do thank you for this marvelous scripture that we read. As many times as we read it, Lord, it just gets more precious all the time. And we are thankful that when life separates us from friends and family, even when we go through those moments in life where, for instance, we're going through surgery and everyone else has to stay behind, it's good to know that you go with us. And no matter what we go through, nothing can ever separate you, uh, us from your love and that you go with us every moment until we're in your physical presence. And we praise you and love you for that. I pray for all who are watching Noah's window today. May you grant them grace and peace and give them their needs today. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us today on Noah's Window. I hope that encouraged your heart. And we will look forward to seeing you here again tomorrow. And in the meantime, I hope you have a blessed day. That's right. We'll see you Tuesday. God bless.